Hi, I'm Marietta Guanzon, Service Learning Program Coordinator of DLSU Center for Social Concern and Action. The title of my research is An Evaluation of DLSU Students' Service Learning Experience with Partner Communities. Allow me to define service learning first. According to Brinkle and Hatcher, service learning is course-based, credit-bearing educational experience in which students participate in an organized service activity that meets identified community needs. There is critical reflection and that this will enhance sense of personal values and civic responsibility. The DLSU strategic plan mandates the integration of service learning in all undergraduate and graduate academic programs. My research questions are 1. How do students relate their service learning experiences to learning outcomes and service objectives? 2. How do students perceive their understanding of social issues and their acquisition of skills and knowledge contributing in addressing these issues. This study described the experiences of students who took COSCA facilitated service learning undergraduate courses such as EconDev, CSR GOP, ProGDev, and a graduate course Business 560M. The objectives of this study are to first describe and evaluate student service learning experiences in EconDev, CSR GOP, ProGDev, and BUS 560M courses in terms of learning and service objectives. Second, analyze if service learning has been effective in increasing social awareness and in addressing community needs. Third, explain the students' feelings and perceptions of their experience with the poor and marginalized sector. A purposeful sampling method was used in the selection of participants of this study. All 268 respondents accomplished the post-activity survey questionnaire which was administered at the end of Terms 2 and 3 of academic year 2018 and 2019. Using the Likert scale, students mark the scale based on their honest opinion if they strongly agree to strongly disagree with the statement. At the last part of the survey form, the respondents were asked to answer open-ended questions. Here now are the results and discussion. First, Majority of the respondents, or 57%, strongly agree and 43% agree that service learning activities done in the course were related to the theories discussed in class. Second, 70% of the respondents strongly agree that they participated in the service learning activities not only because it is a class requirement, but also because they saw the relevance of serving others. Third, 74% of the respondents strongly agree that service learning helped them understand the course lectures and see how the course can be used to address community issues and needs. Fourth, 81% of the total respondents strongly agree that they were able to learn and understand real situation and social realities in the community through their service learning activity. Fifth, 79% of the total respondents strongly agree that the service learning activity positively changed their perception or impression about the disadvantaged people. Six, 80% of the total respondents strongly agree that they felt appreciated by the contribution in the community and it made them feel relevant and happy. Seventh, 81% of the respondents felt satisfied to share their knowledge and skills to other people who are in need. Eighth, 80% of the respondents strongly agree that service learning sparked their interest and desire to do volunteer work in the future, which means that there is a likelihood that they will do volunteer work after graduation. Service learning as a teaching and learning pedagogy engages academic programs to active service to the community. Using the Lasallian Reflection Framework as a guide in doing service learning, students immerse themselves in the situation of the community where poverty, sickness, abuse, deprivation, and neglect happens. is an eye-opening experience. Through analysis and reflection, students were able to understand the root causes of the problem and how these are being addressed or disregarded by people in authority. Sharing their knowledge and skills through the implementation of need-based projects made them feel valued and relevant. Thank you all for listening.